it's Rowler 4 wd here. Today I'm going to be teaching you what a phantom projector is and what it does. And by the way, this is a Kiwico project. So here is the Kiwico project. And how this works is you see a orange ball in there, right? Do you see anything else on uh, so all you see is some light in the middle in the middle because of this light and a ball, an orange ball. And okay, now you, I'm gonna make an optical illusion. See this? There's a white ball, and it moves too. And white ball suddenly appears. It seems ghostly. And what I'm doing is all I'm doing is pressing this little button over here. That makes the light work. Okay, so how this works is, so here's the inside of the Kimiko project. No, that's all, that's where all the battery is. And how this a project works is, there's a glass, there's a mirror over here, and uh, how, and when you, on the light, the ball in over here, the white ball reflects onto the mirror and comes here. But when there's not enough light, the only the only the orange ball is here and you can only see the orange ball being this because um, you're not reflecting the white ball onto the mirror and making it appear over here. I'll show you it one more time. So the white ball and the the orange ball and the white ball. And you can also make this appear as it's floating because um, all you do is have to shift the machine up and down because um, you're just making the mirror jump and it seems like the ball is um, floating in the air, just like a ghost does. So guys, I'm gonna be showing you another optical illusion with these two cards. Guys, to do this activity, it would be better to do it in the dark, so I tried to close all my windows, it didn't work. So, there's a magician hat over here, and you don't see anything else, right? And Viola, you should close one eye for this. It'd be here. You see a bunny right in the middle. See it? I'm gonna. And how this works is, again, it just so you place the bunny over here in the ghost room, which is the room where the white ball was. So you keep the bunny right in the center, and there's a hole over here. There's a hole over here that you can attach to the light. And it reflects up and appears right in the magician's hat. So that's how this works. So, I don't, you're not gonna be able to see it with this because it's gonna be too much light. So what's basically happening is, uh, what, so what, so then what happens when you turn on the LED? The light, uh, up, the light up in the ghost room, the light up in the ghost room, and the ghost. Some of the light bounces off the plastic into your eyes. So your eye is receiving light from both rooms at the same time. Your brain helpfully combines the images for you and Viola. So what they're basically saying, so what they're basically saying is, um, so the picture reflects off the glass and you can also see it through the glass. So you're seeing two per uh, perspectives of light and your eyes are receiving light from both rooms, the ghost room and the main stage. And um, so what happens is, um, after your eyes sees both, your eyes can see both. Your brain helpfully combines the images as the one for you, and that's how this optical illusion works. I'm also gonna teach you 
how to make an impossible candle. So what you need for this is two light candles and two tea light candles, empty CD case and cup of water, a small plate and some matches. I don't have the empty CD case so I can't do this. So I'll show you everything that you need to do. Step one. Um, over here. So what you need to do is remove the plastic plastic insert from the CD case. Just like shown over here. Then stand the case upright and slightly open. This one, sorry, it's a little out of order because I'm showing it to the wrong perspective of the camera. So take the case and up take the case stand uh, upright and slightly open it. Sure. Place one candle on either side. Place one candle on either side of it. And uh, next, light the fire. Light the fire over here. And careful, ask the adult for help for this. And then, you should see the original, uh, original tea flame reflect across the reflect to the other side but there is no but the thing is there is no flame over there because you're only putting flame on one side of it and since there's a mirror in between the light reflects to there so the fire over here um reflects through the glass and it appears on that candle so there is actually no fire if you understand then and then you should and you should see it like this. And um, you can trick your audience by doing this. Tri uh, trick a friend by showing them you can touch the phantom candle without even getting burned. And you know how that works because the fire is reflecting. And um, you can also do the unquenchable. Put an unlight candle on a small dish, then pour water over it. To your audience, it'll look like the flame can't be put out. You can also do fire and water. For full magic show, start with um, the unlit candle, unlit candle and an empty cup. Get the image of the flame lined up, then slowly start to pour water into a cup. You'll end up with a flame that appears to burn underwater.